Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Invisible Mind podcast for Thursday, February 25th, 2016. Uh, well, yeah, we got snow. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, you probably saw that I posted a video yesterday, just, just about a minute long, and just thought I'd show a little bit of what the driving conditions were like going home. They're not really any better today. Oh, uh, I forgot to say, uh, Sierra's still missing as of this morning. So yeah, conditions are any better. I we probably had about six inches inches of snow or so ish ish. It's tough to tell because it started off as like you know, Fiji rain slash sleet kind of crap, and then it slowly turned to snow. So it was really heavy and thick, and it was probably if it had just been like you know normal snow all the way through, it probably would have been a lot more. This morning we had about another inch going down. So. Last night they were saying, oh, the snow will be done by noon, and you look at radar, and not even, I mean, not by noon, excuse me, by dawn, and you look at the radar, and not even close. It's probably going to be snowing at least throughout the morning. Uh, the college surprised me. They did not close last night. I'm, I'm sure they had classes last night, because I've had Wednesday night classes. And they didn't close, but they've already sent out a thing this morning that they're closed till noon. So, if they close for the day, that would mean my test gets pushed off a week until we go over the months. But. Yeah, so, just kind of taking it slow today, not going to be too aggressive on the driving. Because, uh, yeah, the weather sucks. Sorry, trying to get the intermittent wipers working the way I want them to. If you followed me for any length of time, if you've if you've read the the Undisciplined Mind blog, you might know, or follow me on Twitter or what have you. You might be aware that when it comes to my hands, you know, my hands and tools really don't mix. Really don't. There was a time many years ago, I don't know how long ago this was, but it was like a New Year's Day. My in-laws were over, and we got a big snow. And I was out with my with my snowblower, and it was a smaller snowblower. It had it had uh, rubber paddles. It looked like they made a lot of old tire rubber or something. It like that kind of rubber. Probably wasn't old, but it had the tire rubber there. And, you know, for the paddles... It was a big snow, and I had done... My brother-in-law was out helping with the shovel, and I was running the snowblower, and we did ours, and then we decided to do the neighbor across the way because I think her husband was... The people that lived there at the time, her husband was, like, away on business or something, so we decided to go over and do their place, too. So I was doing that, and, you know, by this point, we've been out there an hour and a half, something like that. I was hot. I'd taken my gloves off. And the chute on this little snowblower got clogged. And it had the safety bar you got to hold on to to, to to make the rotor spin. And I it was very easy to just kind of reach down and punch in the, in the chute but I, I kept my hand, my other hand holding that impeller down. And so my hand went in so the fingers were were in where the blades were, and the blades hit my fingers, and it hurt like a bitch. I mean, it really hurt. But you know, fortunately, um, fortunately, uh, they were rubber, and other than just being hand being sore for a, a couple three days, you know, there really were no lasting effects there. I always said that if it had been metal, if it had been metal blades, I'd probably be, you know, two or three fingers short at this point. Uh, there was a time that I accidentally sliced the side of my finger open with 
um, a head trimmer. I was one of those things where I, was, I had this bush at the time, and it would have little shoots that would come up around the main trunk. And I was trying to grab, I was trying to cut some of these little shoots down, and they weren't really, wasn't really working. So I tried to go in there and grab some of these shoots so that I could hold them in a, in a good angle so that the head trimmer could trim them. And my finger got too close, and, and the head trimmer put a slice on the side of the finger. I believe I needed stitches for that one. And then there was the hammer incident, where I pounded my middle finger on the left side with a hammer so hard that I... I I'm pretty sure I chipped the ed end of the bone off. I've never had an x-ray, so I don't know. And it was just, it was, I think it was the same year as the, I think it was the same year as the head trimmer thing. I think that was. But, it, you know, I, I, I was just, I really pounded it as hard as I possibly could. And it hurt so badly. I ended up, the nail ended up coming off of that finger and it since grown back. So yeah, me and tools in my hands, and I think particularly my left hand, just doesn't go well together. So last night, <laughs> I'm out with the snowblower. Now I've got this big beast of a snowblower that I got from my father-in-law, and it has metal blades. And I'm doing all this heavy snow, and, and it actually did a pretty good job overall but toward the end there I get to a spot and it clogs and you know so I look in the chute and I've got like this big big um, you know they're kind of turning the snow into logs in the shape of the chute the good thing about this one is it's big enough that you there, there's this one there's a, um, a handle I got to hold down on the left side I think it is so it really is impossible. It's, it's too, the distance is too great to hold that down and, and be fussing with the fussing with the shoe, you know. So that's good. Um, so I, you know, I would I remove the log and threw it off, and I'd go back and I'd, I'd, I'd hold that handle down again so the rotators with blades would start up and it would exude extrude a little bit more snow, and I would let go and I would go and pick up the the next log and throw it away and. Yeah, you know, this is like a two or three step process, and and I get to the point where there's some snow left in it, but it's down in it. It's not anywhere. It hasn't pushed up enough that I can that I can uh, get it. Uh, you can probably see where this is going. It's you know, I kind of telegraphed it. So I punched, I punched it, and even though my hand was off of the thing, I must. One or two things happened. Either, well, I think the blade was moving, honestly. Maybe not much, but I think the blade was moving. Uh, or I just hit it wrong, and I hit the blade uh, that wasn't moving. By the time I went back, and, and it's, it, you know, so it was my middle finger again, that same finger that I hit with the hammer, got it. And it hurt quite a bit. I mean, I've had stuff that hurts worse. The hammer hurt worse. Because the hammer had me literally in tears for like 10 minutes. Uh, whereas this didn't. This had me hopping around yelling, ow, 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 for a bit. Uh, and when I went back, of course, you know, nothing's moving, but by that point I wouldn't have expected it to. Oh, Lord. Um, so yeah, I've got a little bruising underneath the nail. It feels a little, I can feel that pressure, so I feel a little swollen. But it's okay. I didn't lose the tip of the finger, which is good. Uh, at this point, I'm not anticipating. It doesn't look like it's serious enough to uh, where I'm going to lose a nail or anything. Uh, but 
but yeah, that hurt like a hurt like the Dickens for a while there. It's still a little sore, and if I if I use it to press on something, like the button on my phone, I can feel it. So yeah, I'm an idiot when it comes to power tools, or just unlucky, one of the two. So the word of the day is ow. Anyway, that's all I really felt like talking about today. I've got more snow to wade through, so I'm going to get that done. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.